lieutenant. Je vous ai décoré avec la joie de guerre. Conserve-la comme souvenir à une action merveilleuse. Lieutenant, nous sommes contents de vous avoir parmi nous. As far as I can go, I'll have to leave you here. Dear Kitty, I think you can't back. Oh, you can't just go to Robin. She say, when do we see you again? Well, maybe if you're a good little girl, you can see me tonight. Oh, it's the soir. Oh, yes. But are you sure that you're not just une petite femme aux États-Unis? She say, are you married? Me married? I should say not. Not one little wifey. And you have no sweetheart at home? Listen, there are about 20 million little gals in America between the ages of 16 and 60, and I love all of them. I wish I was home, boys. He poisoned Get the hero. <laughs> but is there no one you love? Sure. Wait a minute. Wait till you get this. Dear Bill, have you top Rickenbacker's record yet? I'll bet you have, and they won't give you credit for it. I had to write a composition about the war in school yesterday, and so I wrote about you, and I got a hundred for it. Hurry up, Bill, and get that old war over. I know you can do it if you try, and I want you to come home. Take care of yourself, Bill, and bring me a helmet. Your loving brother, Tommy Taylor. P.S. Do you know what the cross and O stand for? Don't let anyone see them. Can you tie that? That's my kid brother. There's the greatest guy in the world. Oh, the darling. Hey, Ixne. What... Hey, come oh, come on, come on. What's the big idea? Oh, mais il est si gentil. Je l'aime. Je l'aime parce qu'il est son frère. She says she loves him because he is your brother. Oh, there you are again. They fall for him just like they do for his big brother, and he's only a kid. But let me tell you this. He ain't going to be like me. I'm going to bring that kid up right. There ain't no dame going to make a chump out of Tommy. Qu'est-ce qu'il dit? Il dit que son frère n'est pas... Say, drag out the words to that song you wrote. Go ahead, show him up, Dugan. There you are. Hold him for me, will you? Watch me torch this guy with this yarn. Billy is a hero boy, Polly Boo. Oh, Billy is his mother's joy, Polly Boo. They slipped him some medals in the crooks, the Jerry's. No, Billy thinks that he's the berries. Pinky dinky Polly Boo. Excuse me, just a minute. I've got something important to attend to. Like that one, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Hold that. <laughs> Was you looking for something, Lieutenant? Uh huh. <laughs> oh, so they took up with something. When am I going to see you again, honey? Oh, give me a ring next week sometime. Oh, next week? I'll tell you what. Let's all come up to my apartment for dinner. What do you say? Okay by me, baby. You, huh? Don't mind me. I just came in to get warm. Well, I happen to know where he was last night. And I'll bet you do that he don't blow around here till around 5 o'clock. Oh, why not give me a crack at him? Say, if he comes along and catches you up, he'll murder you. Ah, uh, he'll murder nobody. Besides, I'm telling you, he won't be here. I know. You're not going to disappoint the customers, are you? Well, go ahead, but listen. If he catches you, 
Don't try to hang it on me. Okay. By the way, I'm using his crate, too. What's the matter with your own? What's the matter with it? Flipper hinges shot, two crack struts, and the rest of it held together with hairpin. Boy, I wouldn't want to be in your shoes if Bill Taylor catches you. But don't say I didn't warn you. Ah, don't worry. I can do that age stuff better than he can himself. Well, I'll give you a show. You watch. I'm watching. Pull him away, Logan. Hey, that's what Bill Taylor, chef. Why, you don't tell me. You surprised me. Pull him away. Yes, but... No but. Do like I tell you. Pull him away. Logan and the dirty bum has got my creep. What's the idea of Dugan being up in my place? Well, you were late. He said you wouldn't be here. Oh, he said I wouldn't be here, huh? You like shows, don't you? Well, I'm going to give you one. I'm going up and run that lousy Kiwi right out of the sky. Listen, Bill, you can't fly this ship. The flipper is a gold shot. Take a look at it here. What do you mean? Look at here. Hold that.
What are you trying to do? Kill somebody? Listen, the next time you cross me, I'm going to crack you up, and I'm going to crack you up good. I'll bust your dirty neck. Oh, wait a minute. All right, all right, hold on to me here. I want to get that dirty ranch. Save him go. He ain't going to bust nobody's neck. Was you looking for something, Lieutenant? Frank? Yes. Hey, where's Tom? I don't know. I haven't seen him for a week. Why don't you call his girl up? What do you mean, his girl? Who is she? I don't know who she is. I'm telling you, I haven't seen Tommy for a week. Uh, you're a big help. Grab a little feed. Okay. And maybe after we go out and uh, swing the puppies, huh? Okay. I'll be right there. Okay. Okay. You're listening to Earl Burtnett's broadcast from the Kit Kat Cafe. You will hear Burtnett's trio singing. I'm that way about baby. I'm so happy, oh so happy, things are shaping up great. I'm in high, here's the why. My sweet baby just said maybe we'd be name of the day. So I know we're all I'm strutting on like a peacock, wanting people to see. I'm that way about baby, she's that way about me. We sing the marshiest love song, kind of silly but cheap. I'm that way about baby, she's that way about me. We got that certain something between. Our life is one continual dream And if it's true that love is a friend I don't want to be free I'm that way about baby She's that way about me Me We great pleasure to introduce to you at this time Miss Patsy Burke, who will sing that popular number, If I Had My Way. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da
Since the day we met, I've been all upset, sweetheart. Wondering how and why and where you and I stand. This funny world would be heaven to you and me if I could just arrange it as I planned. I'd make a play day of every gray day if I had my way, dear. I'd have a songbird singing pretty love words for you alone to I'd make the night time one sweet delight time, and you'd be always near. We'd have our love to guide us, there'd be no thrill denied us if I had my way, dear. I'd make the night time one sweet deal. Uh, oh. He really a wonderful. <laughs> Certainly not. We'll quiet him down. Quiet him down? Nothing. Out with him. But listen, Pat. He may be a good customer. Yeah. Well, customers that annoys all the others. Well, no, no. They were laughing. Sure. At me. Now, get this. Either he goes out or I go. Well, if you think that way about it, Pat. Hey, Mike. Would you come here, please? That's all right. See that guy. Comes by Ashray. Pardon me, sir. Someone to see you outside. Me? Is she a brunette? Pardon me, just a minute. I've got something very important to attend to. But, Bill, what do you want me to do? Sit right there. But don't try to hold your breath till I get back. Oh, hello, Bill. Oh, hello there. <laughs> Why, he came back in a hurry, didn't he? Kind of late for a little bit of a guy like you to be out all alone? Oh, I don't know. Why? How's for you and me to go places and uh, ring doorbells? What's on your mind, big boy? What do you say if we go get some hot groceries, 
and kind of talk it over. Uh huh? Okay, by me, kid. Where's your car? Now, ain't that just my tough luck? Just the day I put my packet in the shop, and if it wasn't for Hi, that... Bill! And he's got a gal with him. Hey! And Romeo, you turned out to be. Gee, Bill, I thought you was asleep. No, I wasn't asleep. And what I want to know is where you've been and who you've been with. Well, I was with a a friend of mine. Oh, a friend of yours, huh? Well, listen, young fella, you're getting a little bit too fresh. And besides, what's the idea of taking the car and making me walk home? Well, I left you a note. Yeah, I got it. A heavy date, huh? What about my dates? And besides, I got thrown out of a cafe. What cafe? What's the difference? Did you go in and clean it out, Bill? No, I didn't. I started to, but about then I got another idea. Another girl, huh? Mm-hmm. No, it wasn't. We're seeing you riding down the street with a girl. Now listen, you gotta pipe down a little. Oh, don't worry about me, Bill. I can take care of myself. Oh, you can take care of yourself, huh? Well, what's the matter with you? I've been acting kind of screwy lately. Nothing? No, give me that. What would you say if 
I was to get married. Poor little kitty. I guess it was that falling out of the high chair that did it. Oh, nix now, Bill. I'm on the level. Sure, you're on the level, and you're figuring on getting married, huh? To who? To a nice girl. Sure, a nice girl. Well, this one is nice. All right, now, don't get excited. Come on, get in the bed. Now, come on. Give me the lowdown. You know, it's a good thing you sprung this before it was too late. Come on, now. Tell old Bill what it's all about. Who is she? Gosh, she's the swellest little girl you ever saw in your life. Sure, they're all swell, kid. Yeah, but this one's different. Listen, there ain't none of them different. I've been places and seen things, and no matter what the nationality is, they're all alike. You know my motto. Find them, fool them, and forget them. Oh, but Bill, you don't know this girl. I don't want to know her. She's a girl, ain't she? And stick to what I'm telling you. Find them, fool them, and forget them. Now go to sleep. Well, but Bill, let me tell you something about this one. Oh, all right. If you ever found her, you wouldn't want to fool her. You'd have an awful tough time trying to forget her. Yeah. Now take me, boy. I can fool them all. And I'm the fastest little guy in the world about forgetting them. Now turn over and let's get out that sleep, both of us. Oh, but Bill. Sleep. What are you getting all dolled up about? Well, you see, I'm gonna... I had her up in the plane today, Bill. Gee, she's swell. Yeah? Well, you ain't gonna see that gal tonight. Why not? Because I said so. Oh, listen, Bill, if you only knew her. I don't want to know her. She's a gal, ain't she? Well, I got a date with her. Wait a minute. You ain't leaving this joint tonight. Oh, listen, Bill. Don't be like that. Why don't you come along with me? She works down at the Kit Kat. Oh, the Kit Kat, huh? Well, you ain't going Kit Katting or no place else. Do you get that? Now, listen, Tommy. I know more about these things than you do. Why don't we stay home and just have a quiet little evening with the books? Books? I can see you with a book. Well, look, here's a new one I got you on aeronautics. What do you say? I'm going to keep my date. You're going to stay right here. Who's going to make me? I am. You are, hey? Wait a minute. You keep your hands off of me. What do you think I am? You chase around any place you want. You want me to grow up to be a sap, never to have any fun, never to know any girls. What do you think I am? I'm human. You leave me alone. I'm no kid any longer. I can take care of myself. Wait a minute now, Tommy. Stay away from that door, Bill. I'm going through it. Yeah. Get out of my way, I tell you. All right, kid, I know you didn't mean to do it. Listen, Tom, I've been your dad and your mother and everything. I've been taking care of you too long to let you go out and let some dame make a chump out of you. You know what I mean, don't you? Not a boy. You say she works down the Kit Kat, huh? What's her name? Pat. Patsy Burke. 
I'd see Burke. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going down and have a talk with her. I'll get her a number. You know, I know all about dames. I'll find out whether this one is different or not. Do I know him? And how? Ask him if he was ever at the Naventa Inn last spring. Oh, so that's the guy. What's he like? Well, he should be wearing a sandpaper collar for that rough neck of his. But, gee, he's a swell guy. Stepping out with him? Uh-huh. Well, my baby aviator left me flat. And you never heard tell of me walking home, did you, baby? At a girl. Lion Fool in person. And it's all mine. Does it give a good treatment in ten blocks? What do you mean? I bet you'd be afraid to carry home a bottle of cream in it. Well, listen, quit wisecracking. You know, there's a lot of little gals like to be in your spot. What a shrinking ball that you turned out to be. Daisy, ain't you so fun? Well, I gotta admit I'm good. I don't want to make a liar out of all the little gals in town. Oh. Come on, let's get going. Well, Daisy, you Would you mind getting in this way? Did you ever try using this? It's a gift, baby. I guess it must be. I didn't even know it was there. So you're a flyer. That's funny. I know another flyer for the same name as yours. Tommy Taylor. Do you know him? I've never heard of him. Gee, he's a sweet kid. He's only about 19, but my, he's nice. Yeah, but what's the idea of a girl like you robbing the cradle and playing around with a 19-year-old kid? You set up playing around, and that's all I'm doing. It doesn't hurt him any, and it does me a lot of good. Yeah, but, uh... You don't think I'm taking any kid to raise, do you? And besides, what business is it of yours anyway? Well, I was just thinking you're losing a lot of time every minute you ain't with me. Gee, I would draw a wisecracker. Do you know any more tricks? 
Sure, I can sing. Oh, really? I make a play day. No, that's who you are. What do you mean? You're the clown that broke up my act. What act? In the cafe the other night. Don't pull that innocent stuff on me. I ought to tell you just what I think. Be big, be big. Forget all about it. Well, I ought to be pretty sorry, you. Yeah, I guess you ought to be, but you aren't, are you? Hmm? How about a little kid? think I brought you home for. Come on. Well, not bad. Yes, sir, pretty good. Come to Papa. No, Bill, not now. Why not? You'll have to excuse me a minute. I, I have to change my dress. Oh. Okay, baby, but make it snappy. I will. Boy. something important that I have to do. Oh. Aren't you even going to have one? No, thanks. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, I'm happy to have met you. Uh, excuse me. Oh, Bill. Oh, Bill. I'm sorry you have to go. It's been awfully nice meeting you. Mm-hmm, yes. Yeah. It has, hasn't it? Oh.
there. Where? Look out, Bill, you're going to a tailspin. Gosh, I did, didn't I? Gee, you're... you're swell. See her, Bill? Oh, uh, yeah, I saw her. Well, you're right, she's different. Gee, I knew you'd feel that way if you only met her once. But I still ain't saying she's the girl for you. Listen, the only thing that's the matter with you is you've got a bad case of puppy love. And besides, she's too old for you. Yeah, but Bill... Now, take me, for instance. When I was your age, I was just as cuckoo as anybody. I used to stand around under a girl's window and pine. And I didn't even know her. But that was before I knew all about dames like I do now. But Bill, that's the girl I love. You haven't got anything against her personally, have you? Oh, certainly not, Tommy. That ain't the idea. She's the kind of a girl that anybody would be proud to pick. But you're just a punk. I don't see how anybody could help loving a swell girl like her. Oh, I know, but look, it ain't only her I'm trying to steer you away from. I'm trying to remind you that you're just a kid. Did you notice her eyes, Bill? Yeah. Well, just like pools with a million colors dancing around them. And her hair? Yeah. Did you ever notice when the light hits it just right, it looks like it was made out of gold or something? Yeah, she's okay. And you notice when she laughs, you notice them dimples? Just like a picture. Oh, gosh, I never have seen anything like her. Yeah, swell. And the way she walks. The way she holds her head. Yeah. Mm, gee. Uh-huh. You'd kind of like to come out and watch me do my stuff. I'm going to be thrilled to death. I know you are. And you're going to be careful, aren't you? Listen, baby. Papa is always careful. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't expect to see you here. Well, you came out with Bill, huh? Do you know Bill? 
Are you kidding me? Didn't you know he's my brother? Your brother? Yeah. But he said he didn't even know you. Oh, don't pay any attention to him. He's always clowning. Jeez, a swell guy. Look at him. Yeah, he's a swell guy. Always clowning. Hey, Tom. Passenger. Coming up. I gotta go to work, honey, but I'll be seeing you. Maybe this evening, huh? Maybe. Tommy, be sure you come and don't send your brother. Okay, baby. Yeah, them wires so loose you could tie knots in them. What are you trying to do, kill me? Yeah, but, Bill, just the other day you said they flew better for you that way. Never mind what I said the other day. Your job is to keep things right and safe. Boy, I got responsibilities, lots of them. Fix it up. Well, what do you think of your papa now, huh? You're a swell guy. What a nice little mild Spanish you turned out to be. Well, what do you mean? You know what I mean. I know why you came to see me now. I like somebody that's on the up and up. Oh, honey, I'm on the up and up. I think you're grand. I'm crazy about you. Yeah, crazy about me. You lie to me about Tommy and expect me to fall for that. Oh, I know I was wrong, but I changed, honey. Please believe me, won't you? I'll tell you what that's do. Let's get down to the cafe and get something to eat and we'll kind of talk it over. Uh, honest, honey, I've, I've got a lot of awful important things to tell you. Won't you please? Mm hmm Come on. That's sweet. you'd sing that just for me. Do you really want to hear it? Mm-hmm. Earl, play If I Had My Way in ballad time. All right, Pat. Let's go, boy.
have dessert first? Beg pardon, sir? Do you have dessert? Oh, uh... Oh, dessert? Oh, uh... What are you going to have, honey? Huh? Dessert. Uh, what are you going to have? Oh, dessert. Oh, what are you going to have? Oh, Billy is a hero boy, Polly Boo. Oh, Billy is his mother's joy, Polly Pardon me Boo. just a minute. They I got some important the business to attend Jerry. to. And now Billy thinks that he's the berries. Hinky dinky Polly Boo. Are well, you looking for something, Lieutenant? I'll have pie. You won't, huh? It isn't that I won't. It's simply that I can't. But why? Say you can't or you won't. And you don't tell me why. Oh, Tommy, you're an awful sweet kid. I can't marry you. For one thing, I'm too old for you. Too old? Nothing. Why, you can't be more than, well, a couple of, well, I'll bet you're a year younger than me anyway. Oh, Tommy, you're such a little boy sometimes. No, I'm not. I'm a man. I got a grown man's pilot's license, haven't I? You can't be a little boy and be a flyer, can you? I don't mean it that way. Of course you're a man, and I admire you and respect you for the nice, clean man that you are. And I do love you. In a way. Oh, but don't you understand, Tommy? It's not the kind of love. I know. I'm wise. There's someone else. Oh, Tommy, if, if you... Only... There is someone else, isn't there? Oh, perhaps. I knew it. Someone else. And if it wasn't for this other guy, you'd marry me, wouldn't you? Oh, Tommy, don't you understand? Wouldn't that... you? Perhaps. I knew it. Well, I guess you won't ever want to see me again. Oh, of course I will. Well, I don't see how you could. Under the circumstances, I don't see how any girl would want to see a fellow again after she'd said what you said. But, Tommy, I didn't say anything. Oh, you didn't, huh? Well, you said no, didn't you? I guess that's plenty. Well, goodbye. Not goodbye, Tommy. Please. Oh, this is only another of the breaks that me and Bill have always gotten. I guess I can take it standing up. Don't worry. I won't ever bother you again. Oh, Tommy, don't be that way. You don't bother me. I'm awfully sorry. I feel terribly that this has hurt you so. Well, that's all right. I don't want you to feel bad. I'll just ease out of the picture. I guess me and Bill will just go on through life being a couple of old bachelors. Well, so long, Pat. See you in church. What do you think you're doing? I'm going away. You're what? I'm going up north and get a job flying mail. You just think you are. Well, I am. Nobody's going to stop me, not even you. But I wish you'd come along with me. Why? Oh, to get away from this crummy town, these Humpty Dumpty people. Hey, what's the matter with you? Nothing. Come on now, what's wrong? Oh, it's nothing of any importance. In any way, you wouldn't understand. Oh, I wouldn't, huh? Well, listen. Suppose you spring it and give me a chance to figure out whether I understand or not. I'd rather not say anything about it. Come on, now. Give me the lowdown. Well, 
I had a little talk with Pat this afternoon. Oh, and she, she turned you down, huh? Yeah, flat. She said I was too young. And besides, yeah, she said there was somebody else. She said that? Did she say who it was? No, she wouldn't tell me. But she did say if it wasn't for this other guy, she'd marry me. Oh, she said that, huh? So well, there's someone else. And if it wasn't for that someone else, she'd marry you. Well, that's all right, Bill. Guess I can take it standing up. Of course, a plot like that rocks a guy, but... I guess I can stay on my feet. And I made up my mind that the best thing to do would be to just go away. Go away and forget. Not the only good break I ever got is but I got you. Don't think I'm soft or sentimental because I'm not. Oh, I know that, Tommy. Yeah, Pat said I was too young. But I guess maybe she's wrong, isn't she, Bill? Sure she's wrong, kid. The only time I feel like a kid is when I'm with you. Gee, I don't know what I'd do if it wasn't for you. So if it wasn't for, uh, for someone else, she'd marry you, huh? Well, listen, kid, don't you worry. You can always come to old Bill. You know that, don't you? And you can have anything he's got. You know that too, don't you? Now, I'm going down and fix things up. Oh, no, no, Bill. Don't say nothing to Pat. Why not? I'm not going to let her turn you down and get away with it, not while I'm around. Oh, no, no. It won't do no... Listen, unpack the things. I think I know who this guy is, and I'll get him out of the way. Do you really think you can? Certainly I can. It's a cinch. And besides, there ain't anybody going to give you the runaround. Not while old Bill's on the job. you turned out to be, didn't you? What's the matter? So you think you're too good for my kid brother, huh? He ain't swell enough for you. He don't drive a Rolls Royce and bring you no orchids, huh? Oh, I never said that. You didn't have to say it. I was on the minute I talked to him. And another thing, you thought I was crashing for you, huh? Well, get that out of your head pronto. You can't come here and talk that way to me, Bill Taylor. Oh, ain't you peculiar? I'm here, ain't I? I'm talking, ain't I? Me crashing for you? I wouldn't have you as a gift. All right, all right. Forget that part of it. But let me tell you this. You can't turn my kid brother down and get away with it. There ain't nothing too good for him. Just a minute. I think he's a swell kid and I'm strong for him. I love him to death. Like a mother or sister. But that doesn't give you any right to come in here and talk this way to me, and I'm not going to stand for it. All right, sit down, then. And get a load of this. That kid can have anything he wants, and if he wants you, he's going to have you. Now make that into a hat and wear it. Fix it, Bill? I fixed it. I put this guy clear out of the picture. Honest? Absolutely. Now, don't be a chump. Go on down there while it's hot and see if you can do yourself some good. 
Honest, Bill? Well, I'm telling you, if I go on, powder, hurry up. Gee, Bill, I'll never forget this. Never. Neither will I, Tommy. But I never sent him, Pat. He insisted on coming. And of course, gee whiz. And Bill was the guy all along. Ain't he swell? I don't blame you. Do you... Do you really love him, Pat? Well... Gee whiz. Well, look. The thing for us to do is go and find him and tell him, ain't it? Oh, I, I couldn't do that. Why not? Now look at here, Pat. You've got to. You simply got to tell him. It's coming to him to know. Oh, what a fool I am. I guess you're right. I'm just a kid. I should have understood this long ago. Look, it must be nearly 2.30 now. We can catch him at the field if we hurry. Now look, Pat. Pull yourself together. You don't want him to know you was crying.
stop the paint. The board stop? What are you trying to do? Kill yourself and everybody else? What you, what's the idea? Great flyer you are. Yeah, you're a smart boy, ain't you? You make me sick. Well, how'd you get here, honey? Well, I, I, Keep I just... with me. I'd go up there and find her crying her eyes out because you acted the way you did. I will not, Shush. Wait a minute. Honey, I'm awful sorry for the things I said, but I guess you know now that I didn't mean them. Will you forgive me? Hey, Tommy. There's a passenger. Southern Stern. I'm through with him. I'm checking out. Quit your clown and get over here. here. Pardon me, but I've got some important personal business to attend to. And you have to promise me that you'll stop this stuff. Oh, but honey, there's a lot of money in it, and we're going to need money. I don't care. There's plenty of mother, uh, money and other kinds of fine. And besides, you've got responsibility now. Promise? All right, anything. Bill, he is the Hillsborough boy, Polly Blue. Oh, Bill, he is his mother's dark Polly Blue. They slip him some medals and a crook he carries. Billy thinks that he's the berry. Hinky, dinky, poppy. Honey, will you excuse me just a minute? Now I have got some important business to attend to. Was you looking for something, Lieutenant? Mm-hmm. Try that on your ukulele. <laughs> 